What's going on everybody? Angrenade here and today I'm going to be showing you what Immortep's all about. Everybody wants to know how good is Immortep or IP as some people may call it. Well, I'm a, we're about to find out here. I'm going to do a Here Be Monsters run, Wave E, show you what he is all about, show you how awesome Immortep is. Sand7 already did a video on him. He showed him in the arena, but he didn't show you in Hubie Monsters. Today, I'm going to show you that so you can get a little taste of that. And you know, this might convince you to either shard farm him or buy a lot of gems, hopefully on a 20% bonus, and then try your luck on rolling in with him. Let's get going here. I'm just going to lay down a few bombs hero bombs get those down those guys always help nothing wrong with using them I know I got some griffins going but they're already there so I might as well use them I can get through E without them but like I said since they're there I'm just gonna go ahead and use them Let's go ahead get this rolling Alright, wait. Remove these safes. I had them set up so that when I would get raided, people had, would have a harder time of taking my gold. Let me get these put back real quick. Get these walls straightened out. One more thing. Take my garrisons out. So I don't need those. That's two, two more. <clears throat> All right, before we get started, let me show you what I got going on here in my lineup. First off, we got Druid, level 103. Four nine energetic and two or five revitalize. Nothing special there. Pumpkin Duke. Five and nine celebrate, which is awesome. You get that thirty percent, and he has a five or five slowdown. Not the best for Hibby monsters, but it's definitely useful against the boss. So I'm definitely keeping that. The more tab, three and nine. Summer Seth should have that up to 4 or 9 tomorrow once we get that uh, gelatinous champion bonus for 3000 EXP. So I'll have him up to 4 or 9 tomorrow. And then here we go. We got Thunder God, a heavy hitter. He's 4 or 9, 4 or 5 sprint. So he's really fast. He's good in the arena. And lastly, we got Spirit Mage, level 99, 4-9 Magic Missile, and 4-5 Heavy Blow. Sometimes that comes in handy in Heavy Monsters, sometimes it doesn't. But it's awesome against the boss, so when it comes to fighting the T1 boss, Spirit Mage is always in there. Alright, that's my run-up for Here Be Monsters. And... Let's get it started. Do E. I've done F before without Garrison. Same setup I got now, but more often times, more often than not, I don't beat F, so I'm not gonna risk it. I only have one chance, so I'm gonna go ahead and do E because that's pretty much a sure win. That's about 95% of the time that I can do E with the guys that I got going on now. Set up, Diamond of Doom. Let's get started. Here we go. Got some Griffins coming in. Serpent Queen. A couple other guys. Level 85 guys. Nothing really too serious. Just going to go around in circles. Wipe out all my buildings. Wait for them to get close. 
to my uh, arrow tower so they can start pinging away and they see my arrow tower pinging away at the heroes just kind of softening them up before they come in the middle come with a couple griffins not much of a threat there check them out real quick so far I'm making light work of these guys in E1 there you go, E1. Didn't lose any towers. So that's always good. Arrow Tower's putting in work as usual. Got a couple Griffins coming in. That's really what you gotta worry about when you're doing E is the Griffins wiping out the towers. Because you want those towers to get that aggro so that the heroes can come into the middle get wiped out by the heroes. That's the whole point of Hear Me Monsters. Use your buildings as distractions. Alright, here they come. E3. Probably going to make light work of these two. There you go, Thunder God Prox. Pretty much does most of the work. Here comes Immortep for some cleanup. You see him procking, he just melts people. Immortep is awesome. I think Immortep is almost like two heroes. His proc is just that great. One thing to note about Immortep's proc is that his damage is random. It will fluctuate. It, go, it will go up. It will go down. It's not a fixed value like some people may believe. Um, you know, I've tested this many times, and you might even notice this on screen. It might be a little harder. Let me zoom in a little bit. Here we go. See him going to town. That's good. Immortep's got his proc built up. So for E5, he's going to be ready to go. Everyone's got something built up, which is good. It's always good to go into E5 with some energy built up because that's when you need it most. Is when that dino comes in and all these level 101 heroes come in. Here we go. Proc in. Thunder got proc. And more tap proc. Dino's about to die. The dino's dead. It's pretty much a wrap. Take care of those guys. Done. E5. Easy peasy. Only lost that gold vault. 43,000 XP, not bad. That should max out my Spirit Mage now. Let's take a look. Yep, Spirit Mage just hit 100. I only got 5,898 honor badges. I'm still working on getting that up to 30,000. When I get that up to 30,000, I'm going to be leveling up my Thunder God next. Just because he's the cornerstone of my group here. As you can see, um, Druid's on his way to 120 because I personally believe Druid is the anchor of the group. He has to stay in the middle so he can keep everybody else alive. You don't want him taking too much aggro because you want him, everyone else to take an, at the aggro so Druid can go in there and heal everybody up. So there you have it. A little Here Be Monsters run, Wave E. Get to see what Immortep's all about. As you can tell, he just melts people. Immortep is awesome. As soon as he gets to 100, I'm taking him up to 120. As soon as he gets to 120, he's going to 140 and so on and so forth. I'm always going to keep leveling him up. He's just that awesome. So if you want to shard farm him, by all means do it. If you want to roll a bunch of gems, try your luck there. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that, but, you know, hey, if you want him that bad, go for it. And this is Hand Grenade. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to try and keep posting videos maybe every other day to every two, uh, three days. So keep an eye on out for that. And until then, stay tuned. This is Hand Grenade. Peace.